point. We're live at 11.05 on BC. This is Spirit Cars. And I've been accused of being low energy. My camera person, she's like all freaking out this morning. Nobody watched the video yesterday. If you watched yesterday's video, you were like so like there was gaps and you were boring. And Okay, so I'm going to be high energy now as best I can. Although I'm feeling better if anybody cares. When you're old and you face plant off a loading dock, my knee is jacked, my back is bad. I did eat real food last night instead. It wasn't in the blender, so that was a good thing. So my jaw doesn't work quite as good as it did a week or so ago. So that's my excuse. Um, had me a Corona last night, feeling good. It's not even a good joke, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Don't freak out, we're building hot rods. And uh, today we got Dorothy going on and uh, so here's a motor. I don't think anybody's seen the motor yet, but here's kind of a view of the motor. We're not got all done yet, but we're going to go over the Napoleon belt system as we finish that up. But right now, um, Eddie's been working on getting the brake pedal in. So we got the brake pedal fitting. Come up through the floor, comes up down to the bottom. So it was hitting the side of the transmission. It's called extra parts. This is a locating pin to assemble the car, not important. Sometimes we freak out and go, oh, it's, it's like that. It, it's not in the instructions. It's like I have people call me sometimes. We did instructions for old T a long time ago, and and they tell me their problem, and I think about it, and I give them a solution, not that there's only one. And they're telling me, but it says to do it like this. Instructions say to do it like this. You know, sometimes it's a little bit frustrating. I just feel like saying, look, I'm the guy that wrote the instructions. It was an arbitrary number in the first place. It needed to be within that range, and I put it in that range. Move it over a quarter of an inch. So anyway, not an important little tab on your transmission. It's off, but it is important for your brake pedal to clear. So the brake pedal clears, and he's got it in on that side, and we look at it. So when we get... The brake pedal up through it's really important comfort is really important i mean it's it's a priority so we're thinking about using a spoon pedal a spoon gas pedal that's really small sometimes you're going to have to take a notch out a corner of your transmission tunnel you still got some space in there um, between your transmission housing and the and the actual bottom of the car so you could cut this dish it in a little bit give you a little more comfort on your foot uh, which is important you will be glad you had it if you're driving very long uh, so we got that up there got that fitting pretty good I'm, I'm pretty excited we got the the door poppers in you can kind of can you see them on the inside here they're going to swing around that side we've got open okay there we go you can see they come up in here i haven't got them wired yet but we're going to cut cut it open over there when you if you've got a spirit car or whatever when we put the doors together I put my inner door on first I put all my hardware into it we did it fit and the power windows are in everything is in and the last thing we do is glue the grill shell on or the grill shell we the door shell on and once we put the skin on then it's all closed up these holes here there's a couple of rubber grips kind of thing that when you put your window in, it slides into that. There's a bolt, you line up your window track, and then you can get your wrench in there and tighten it down that way. Much easier. That's how you install your window. window. But as long as I don't have a bolt here and you're not cutting out any major structure of the door, if you need to access this, you can cut a hole here. You can cut a hole here. If you look at the inside of a door on any any modern car, there's a lot of open access to it to get to the inside of the door. So just because the door is not um, cut open, we didn't cut it open because we didn't have to. But if you need to do some access, get some access to wire some stuff, go for it. I see I need to, now remember, we talked about cutting the Nitocore, the Plascore. It used to be called Nitocore. Another company makes it now. There's a product called Plascore on the floor here. It's a half inch honeycomb product that there's fiberglass. Then this has got a it's honeycomb with like a, a material on both sides of it. Then we put more wet fiberglass, smash it into it. It bonds in, then we glass over the top of that. And it's very, very strong. So I can cut out a half inch out of this without going through to the, 
well it's not here because you can kind of see where the lip is you can get an idea how thick it is here same stuff in the rough so I can cut a little bit out but I couldn't cut it out deep enough to put that whole dome light and you sure don't want the back of the dome light sticking out your roof so he made this this gray around here he just took and made a wood wood spacer covered it open it up on the inside and put it in there so that's no big deal looks like it looks like it's factory so got the dome light in there it's looking good he must have pre-thought that out it's between the flames there so again you think two steps ahead you're you're a whole lot better than doing one thing and happen to go back two steps to move ahead and uh, you're really you're better off if you can think three or four or five steps ahead so we're right now Kind of working on the gas tank. We've got the gas tank sort of sitting up here. This has got a poly tank, is the, the brand name. So it'll have the an original style, and then there'll be a spreader bar that goes here after the fact. This will get painted the color of the car, and there'll be a gas cap here. That'll be happening pretty quick here. We got the latch that'll be pulling that. That'll be happening. I think Eddie will be done here pretty soon. This will probably be going out of here. I know I'm putting him on a different car tomorrow. So that's it for today. Pretty quick. Was that better energy? Higher energy. I got one of these. So why don't you all give me one of these? Uh, likes, shares, whatever. I would just appreciate it if you help drive the channel a little bit. Uh, we're going to start something new. I had T-Bucket TV for years and years and years. If you go to uh, Spirit Cars, is I think the channel that this is called. Is this Spirit Cars? So we have Spirit Cars on YouTube, and we have T-Bucket TV on YouTube, which has been there maybe 10 years. A lot, a lot of videos there. Mostly T-Bucket related. When we first started out, we did more T-Buckets than the bigger cars. Now we're more bigger cars. We still do a lot of T-Buckets. So we're going to really go back to our roots. We're going to focus in that on that, um, uh, that genre again. On the videos I've got a couple cool teas coming together and we're gonna do a program called tea bucket TV of all things for the tea bucket TV channel on YouTube and we may try to do a little editing it's not gonna be a live program it's not gonna be 1105 we're gonna keep the same 1105 format it works good for us everybody here goes to lunch at 11 it's quiet for a little while it works out so we got uh, we got Tweety coming up we're gonna do that and we got Goldie coming up those are two tea buckets that are really pretty cool then I've got I got a couple more assemblies of, of tea buckets so um, we'll do a little editing on that and try to make it we'll see how our, our camera girl can do here how professional she is maybe get us a little intro five ten seconds tea bucket TV zoom zoom I thought we could throw a big burnout thing we did a burnout scene in the parking lot one time but we got a lot of negative feedback. They said we're you're irresponsible with all that smoke and the, but so we won't do that one. But we'll figure it out. Check that out. We may make a link to that on this video after we do a few few of the other ones and or put a link. Can you put a link to that? Maybe. Okay. So there may be a link to T Bucket TV if you've not seen that channel. A lot of videos there. Same kind of stuff. I've always tried to have a how-to format. You're kind of in a forest, hunker down. I know we we had to go to Springfield, Missouri last night because they're going to shut that down for a little while. And of course, my daughter had to get a couple new goats, so we were we went out there to get our goats before we got locked down. And and so we got home at two o'clock this morning with our new goats. But anyway, that was my world. Hopefully, everything is good in your world.